Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 and it's learning aim A1. We're going to look at ionic bonding and in particular dot and cross diagrams. Now we do require a little bit of prior knowledge here. If you haven't seen the video on forming ions, I suggest you go and watch that first. You will find the link in the description below. If I can ask if you don't already subscribe, why not? What you're waiting for? Your support is very much appreciated, so please use the comments and like these videos and look out for future content. So what even is a dot and cross diagram then? Well, a dot and cross diagram, it's a way of representing and showing the ions that are present within the ionic lattice, and it allows us to track which electrons have been donated and which electrons have been accepted. What we're going to see is that during a chemical reaction, between a metal and a non-metal, we're going to see the metal donating the outer electrons or its outer electrons to the non-metal. So for example, sodium is a group one metal with the electron configuration two, eight, one. Chlorine is a group seven non-metal with the electron configuration two, eight, seven. So what we're going to see here is sodium donating its outer electron to chlorine. So let's look at the dot and cross diagram for sodium chloride. So sodium then has one outer electron that it must donate in this reaction and chlorine has one electron that it wants to accept. The whole goal here is to get that full outer shell and both have got that full outer shell. It leaves them with a charge though. Sodium has donated one electron becomes plus one. Chlorine has accepted one electron and becomes minus one. To tidy this dot and cross diagram up, we remove the inner shells and we just show the full shells, the full outer shell, and sodium chloride has the formula NaCl. Let's look at magnesium oxide then. Magnesium is a group 2 metal. It's in group 2 with the electron configuration 282. Oxygen is a group 6 non-metal, has the electron configuration 26. Remember you do have a periodic table in exams. So magnesium has two electrons it must donate in order to get the full outer shell. Oxygen must accept two electrons in order to get the full outer shell. So this is almost too perfect here. And so what we're going to do now is tidy up by putting square brackets to show the charge. Magnesium is two plus because of the movement of two electrons. We remove the inner shells and now we have our dot and cross diagram for magnesium oxide with the square brackets and the charge and the formula is MgO. Let's look at a more difficult example, sodium oxide. We've seen sodium, it's a group one metal, two, eight, one. Oxygen is a group six non-metal, two, six. Sodium must donate its outer electron to get the full outer shell, which is fantastic. It's now got the full outer shell. You can see it's quite emotional there. Oxygen, however, is feeling a little bit short changed here because it needs to gain two and it's only gained one. So the reaction can't finish here. So what do we do? It's a reaction between sodium and oxygen. So we need another sodium to come along and that second sodium will donate its outer electron. And all of a sudden, everything's happy. We've got the full outer shell. So we're gonna tidy up by removing the empty shells and the inner shells. We're going to put square brackets and show our charges. Notice the charges here that sodium is plus one and oxygen is minus two. So what we have now is our final dot and cross diagram for sodium oxide with the formula Na2O because there's two sodiums and one oxygen. Next example then, magnesium chloride. We've seen magnesium as a group two metal and chlorine as a group seven non-metal. So magnesium has two electrons that it must get rid of, it must donate. Chlorine, however, will only accept one of them. So in this case, the chlorine is now happy with its full outer shell. Magnesium is left fuming because it only managed to get rid of one or donate one. So what happens this time? The reaction doesn't stop. We're gonna to have to get another chlorine along and the magnesium this time can donate that second electron to the second chlorine. And now everything is happy with its full outer shells. When I'm using the word happy, I should be using the word stable. So now I'm gonna put the square brackets and I'm gonna show the charges. Magnesium is two plus, chlorine is minus one. I'm removing the empty shells and the inner shells. And this is now my done cross diagram for magnesium chloride with the formula MgCl2. 
because that shows there's two chlorines and one magnesium. Let's summarise the key points then. You must be using your periodic table and in particular the group number to determine the charge of your metal and your non-metal. This makes you aware of how many electrons are being donated and how many are being accepted. You should then use this number to ensure that all electrons are accounted for and you have the correct number of ions present in your compound. Please look out for the next video on properties of ionic compounds. You will find a link in the description below.